Hello, good morning everyone. Uh, Gerard here with today's shade video. And today we're actually going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, we're going to be shaving uh, with a travel setup. Now, I know some people, um, when they go out maybe for work or just for recreation, um, they want to take their shave products with them. Um, I myself, uh, I'm a carry-on traveler, so I'll be talking a little bit about that and kind of like why I chose the products that I chose today. Uh, but as far as the soap that I'm going to be using is actually, we're going to be using um, Pacific Shaving Company, uh, just their natural shaving cream. Okay, um, I'm going to talk about this a little bit. I'm actually going to be pairing that up with my little brush here. This is the Yaki Sagrada Familia. Okay, this is a 24, uh, 24 millimeter um, super, I would say, baby tuxedo mat right here. Um, I'm going to be pairing up with this, and I'm actually going to be using something really different. And you can feel free to leave the hate in the comments below, but I wanted to try it. I'm going to be using the Gillette Guard. Um, I guess you can say this is disposable, uh, but we'll be I'll be talking about this as well. And then finishing it off is gonna be just straight up classic Thayer's Witch Hazel. Um, this is the aloe vera, uh, with aloe vera in just the original um, scent. They have other scents as well, but I just picked up the original, okay? So travel. Um, when we're traveling, you know, there's a few things that uh, you need to know right off the bat. First off, if you happen to be checking in luggage, you know, leaving those like gigantic, um, gigantic rollers and everything, you can put whatever you want basically in there. You can put blades, you can put, you know, like full size uh, bottles of things like this. Um, you can put whatever you want in there because it's going to be checked in no problem. I myself, I tend to be a carry-on only traveler, uh, meaning I just have my stuff with me at all times and there's a few restrictions with that and one of them uh, is that you can't bring any sort of blade itself uh, onto the carry-on with you. Um, same thing with like knives, little any you know, sharp objects and things like that. The other issue is that any liquids uh, have to be below 100 milliliters or 3.4 ounces inside your carry-on bag. So fortunately, right here, I can get that right there, is that um, Pacific Shaving Company is it's right on the dot. I think they were doing this with the traveler almost in mind uh, that they made their containers in a squeeze bottle that's exactly TSA regulated at 3.4 ounces, 100 milliliters. Now, the Thayer's Witch Hazel, it is, this is a 12 ounce bottle, obviously I can't take this, so what I ended up doing is just I poured some into this little spray bottle here, okay? All right, um, and then of course, if I can't use a blade, you can use cartridges. Um, some people I know, they will take their actual razor with them, but as far as blades go, they'll either mail them to their destination or they'll try to pick some up locally. Um, but for me, I think that's a little bit of going like too much out of the way just, you know, to have a shave. So unfortunately, uh, as much as I would love to, you know, just, you know, like bring out, you know, all the good hardware. Um, yeah, I wanted to test this out. And so this, this is here, the cartridge from uh, Gillette Glide. It's actually a product that was uh, released in India for their, for their market. And I picked this up over on the West Coast Shaving website for like two bucks. You know, um, can you get like other stuff? Yeah, you can. But I know that th the handle is just plastic. Um, I, it's my first time using it, so I'll be kind of telling you my experience with it. And then we have here, let me take off the guard. Um, looks like a single, looks like a single blade with an almost slightly open cone, like design. Yeah, I'm not really, it, it almost looks like a, a barber's, um, like, you know, when you're like, you know, trimming and, and things like that. So yeah, I'm pretty curious on, on how this thing is gonna perform. And so you can get the, uh, just the, the mild setup 
for just a couple of bucks, and then you can actually get these for probably like 50 cents, 75 cents. So um, I'll be kind of, and there is a little bit of a little bit of a flex. It's kind of loosely in there, so to kind of maybe contour with you as well. Okay, so that's what we got. Um, oh, in terms of the the brush, the only reason I, the big reason I chose this Sagrada Familia from Yaki is just because of how small and tiny it is. It fits very nicely. Uh, I'm going to compare that right now with the new West Coast shaving. Uh, this is a 26 millimeter uh, knot, and this is a 24 millimeter knot, and you can just see the difference. You know, this thing is just all barely maybe. Um, two-thirds of the size of this one. So if you just want something small, you can go in there right away. So here we go. Um, because this is a cream soap, um, I'm gonna put it directly on my skin. This is a vegan formula, um, you know, so I'm looking forward to using this. In terms of scents, uh, there is a lot of citrus in here. Um, there's orange, there's bergamot, there's tangerine, there's grapefruit, there's white and green tea. Um, I see here chamomile, I see clove, I see some almond, um, oats, um, so pretty good formula. Um, again, this is almost all the stuff I'm using today is kind of like a little experiment trying to figure out and see how, how good all this stuff really is. So I'm going to wet my face a bit. Um, I did shower before this. And so with the cream, with the it almost looks like a um, how can I put this? Maybe marshmallow fluff consistency, something like that. So I'm gonna put about and say that's about like a little less than a Hershey, Hershey kiss, maybe size uh, drop, maybe a, maybe about a Hershey kiss if that in there and we'll just kind of work it in right away. Okay, um, first thing notice um, in the uh, Sagrada Familia because it's such a short knot um, there is um, a little bit more backbone than you would maybe expect out of a synthetic brush. Um, Put a few drops, but a little goes a long way, especially with this. So, yeah, with the soap, big notes of citrus. Grapefruit is coming out. Orange, tangerine. I'm getting it all, and it looks like it's actually giving me a. Developing a nice, quite a nice ladder. Yeah. Um, this, I would say in the beginning it's a little bit thirsty, but it doesn't take much water to overhydrate uh, what's here in the brush. You can kind of just see in here, like. Right away. Okay. Um, scent is good. Scent's, scent's really nice. Um, very convenient. Um, in terms of the packaging, it has the upside down so that, you know, it's always going to be at the bottom, ready for you. And let's check out this Gillette Glide, okay? Or Gillette Guard, I'm sorry, Gillette Guard. Okay, I think I... feels good. It is pretty much all plastic. <laughs> all plastic with a single single blade in there. There's no um, uh, moisturizing strips. There's none of that here. It is very minimal um, in terms of its uh, of its construction. I think that kind of semi open comb um, helps out quite a bit. It feels good. I mean, given for what it is.
It's been a few days since my last shave, maybe three or four days. It actually, yeah, the Gillette Guard is pretty surprised. First pass, pretty much not too bad. Skin feels all right. So we'll go in for path. Um, we'll go in for number two. Um, I don't really. I don't think I need any more. Any more soap in here. Like I said, maybe a little less than a Hershey Kiss. Like a mini, mini Hershey Kiss. Almost like little, like little, like two, like Toll House, like chocolate drops. If that, that would probably be the best way. Yeah. That's about how much I put in there. And as you can see, it just, if I wanted to, I could just like kind of work it here. Okay. And you can just see it come up really nicely. You know, so I think as a travel, travel shave, Feels very nice. Very, very nice. Alright. Okay, let's see how uh, the Gillette Guard goes from uh, down to up. You know, actually, the nice part about this, I don't feel tugging. Maybe it's just like with my clothes comb set up, I can get that. But with this kind of Open, set up. Um, yeah, I'm not feeling a lot of tugging at all. Um, that could also be, you know, related to the soap and the brush, uh, or or everything else. Since I since I did shower before here, like maybe my skin is just prepped better. Pretty good. Pretty good. We're going for one last. Just kind of spot everything. We are here, here under. So one quick thing to note. I happen to fill the sink with water. You can't see it because it's out of frame. But you know, as I'm kind of like rinsing off the brush here or the, the, the razor, you can see in there, that's just hollow in there. You know? And so if I put the entire uh, razor under to kind of like rinse it off. Um, some water may catch in there, and when I go on, it might just like splash on you. So just be aware of that. Don't use, uh, don't like submerge the entire, entire razor. I just, you know, just force the habit with me. Yeah, you can hear how well. Ooh. Looks like I got one nick. I think that was, but that's you know that's my that's my problem spot. I don't think it's, uh, it's any fault of the razor play with me because I tend to get those there somewhat often. But yeah. Mm. Slickness is okay. 
um, for being a travel soap and you know having to be uh, uh, more cream based, I'm just gonna. I, I can't you know complain uh, really about it because um, it is very it's it's lighter than I'd say most toothpastes and whatnot. But I'm gonna be using the Thayers now, but I'm gonna be spraying it out of the little spray bottle that I have. You can you can pick these up at anywhere. And I found that about four pumps um, is more than enough. Uh, from me from at least this little thing. I think this thing's like 10, 10 milliliters or no, milliliters, milliliters, 10 milliliters in here. So I'm just gonna do one, two, three, four. Okay, and then three, four. Mm. Very nice. Yeah, let me see. I think I just spots here with the sideburns. But other than that, not a bad shave. I think I could go uh, do maybe a couple more touch-up passes, but it feels great. But that was it today, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope, you know, if, if you happen to be, uh, you know, traveling, you know, and, and flying out of places, you, you know, you might be thinking, do I just got to settle for whatever I got, but um, you can you can use products like this, you know, like, like the fact that stuff like this is out there uh, is great. Um, you can take soaps, now it's just, they have to be in that toiletry container, and if they happen to be cream soaps, uh, TSA is a little bit, you know, wishy-washy and inconsistent in terms of if they think of it as a solid or if they want to include it as a liquid. And so I tend to lean, you know, um, towards just using like harder soaps, um, if I happen to take the puck with me, that's perfectly fine. Um, but it's always nice to just kind of have something like this, just ease of use, and go at it right away. But that was today's shave video, guys. If you have any questions, comments, uh, please leave them down below. Um, looking forward to hearing from them. Um, you know, I'm gonna try to probably like actually use this uh, for my next uh, next trip out wherever that may be. And yeah, um, have a wonderful week. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.